Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Key Production Channel. My name is Bernard In 2020, I did a video called Five Films That Should Belong in the Criterion Collection, and I decided to do a updated version of that video. This time in the year 2022, and I have um, a couple more titles that deserve to be part of the Criterion Collection because I love the Criterion Collection. I can see right here. This shelf is all Criterion Collection only, and I love, I love them. I love Criterion Collection. The first one right off the bat is a film that has never been available on Blu-ray. The video that you're watching are was pre-recorded. Um, it was edited and was uploaded on YouTube probably until it is on its release day. And then a couple of days later, I was waiting for the video to drop public soon. The Criterion Collection announced their February um, titles and Romeo and Juliet is, uh, is officially coming to the Criterion Collection officially. So yeah, the video is kind of redundant because let's get on to me talking about Romeo and Juliet and why it deserved to be in the Criterion Collection, which is now part of the Criterion Collection. So yeah, here I am expressing my love on the film. I believe it did release on DVD, but not on Blu-ray, and that is one of my favorite Shakespeare adaptation. But that is the 1968 version of Romeo and Juliet, starring Olivia Hussey. And I love this adaptation so much. It's just wonderful film. A wonderful, wonderful film. I remember like it was yesterday in high school, and I didn't read, 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 read um, Romeo and Juliet, and I was like, oh, I'm not looking for a reading it. So it was an okay story. But when I saw the film starring Olivia Hussey, it immediately opened the gates for me. I'm like, oh my god, I love this movie so much. With great production design and great costume and the performances by Olivia Hussey is wonderful. And this is probably my favorite version of Romeo and Juliet. There's countless of versions of Romeo and Juliet. There's the Leonardo DiCaprio version. But this is my favorite because it feels right. Everything about this movie felt right. And I think that Romeo, this version of Romeo and Juliet, the 1968 version of Romeo and Juliet, deserved to be in the Criterion Collection. Because it had that um, period piece, but not only the period piece, but the vibe, the, the, the feel of the movie that felt like a Criterion Collection would release on Blu-ray. This film was distributed by Paramount Pictures and made by Paramount Pictures. So who knows we might get a, this Blu-ray back in the Pema Percent line, but I really hope we get a Criterion release because it's a fantastic film and it's a fantastic Shakespeare adaptation because Criterion Collection have a bunch of uh, Shakespeare adaptation in the collection um, Othello, Dawn of Blood like so many, so many Shakespeare adaptation is in the collection, and I think Romeo and Juliet should be in that library. One, the you know, other amongst other Shakespeare adaptation in the collection. So yeah, Romeo and Juliet deserved a Criterion Collection, but not, not only in the Criterion Collection, but a Blu-ray release. Hi, this is Bernardo Sino, the editor. Um, I'm currently editing the video that you are watching right now. Um, the main reason why I'm here, why I'm doing this, is that. A couple of days ago, I went to have a book, just to browse, and I saw this, and I had to get it. That is the laser disc version of Romeo and Juliet, the Olivia Hussey 1968 version. So, this is the only um, film of this film that I own in physical media on laser disc. Um, I cannot watch this movie because I do not own a laser disc player, but. It's nice to have a display piece of one of my favorite um, Shakespeare adaptation in film form. So this is an awesome piece. So glad I have to have it. Um, but Criterion, you're watching this. Please, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This film deserve a Blu-ray release. Come on, let's do it. It's long overdue for a Blu-ray release because we never... this. This little wonderful film never got a Blu-ray release and it deserved a physical media release because I'm dying to revisit this movie. I am, I have been in a movie revisit this movie, but it's never on Blu-ray. I want the highest quality as possible for me to watch and revisit this wonderful gem of the movie. 
I love Shakespeare stories. Not one of my favorite Shakespeare stories is Go to Macbeth. But I just love this movie. I just love this adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I do enjoy the Bass Lerman version, but the Olivia Hussey version is my favorite Romeo and Juliet ad adaptation thus far. Next up is All the President Men, directed by the wonderful um, Alan J. Pakula, but also starring Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. This is a political thriller, a paranoia film as well. Cartoon Collection is no stranger with Alan J. Pakula films in the collection because it is available in the collection such as The Parallax View and Clute. I have seen The Parallax View, fantastic film, but I have not seen Clute yet. But All the President Man is amazing. Thrilling, suspense, engaging, and riveting film from the beginning to end. And something about the chemistry between Rob Redford and Dustin Hoffman characters is just so engaging to watch and see them unfold something big, something that is very dangerous but at the same time that it need to be it need to get out um, to the world so people can know about this. And it's about the secrecy and trying to protect themselves and also telling the truth to everyone in around the world about the whole Watergate situation and lean, leading up to that event. Um, it's fantastic and it makes the idea of journalism really exciting. I love every aspect of the journalism in the film that we see Dustin Hoffman and Rob Redford um, go through. It just makes it such a very engaging film and this film is perfect for a Criterion Collection release. Obviously, um, Alan film is available in the Criterion Collection like I mentioned and I think this should be also part of the collection and, and wrap it up the Paranoia Trilogy that Alan J. Pocolo, I believe, is created, you know, with the Parallax View, Clute, and all the President Men. This is a, a great release by Warner Brothers that, in, that included a documentary, uh, I believe it called um, All the President Men Revisited, which is um, as a bonus disc, but it deserved a cartoon release. It would be cool if it got a 4K release, that would be amazing, but a cartoon collection release is, you know, will be a perfect for it because I love this movie so, so much. I'm shocked that this never got a Criterion Collection release that is Sunrise. Dr. by the wonderful F.W. Murnau and starring the wonderful George O'Brien and Janet Gan um, Gaynor. <sighs> Just an amazing masterpiece. One of my favorite silent films of all time. And the fact that this never got a Criterion Collection release is shocking because this film deserved to be part of the Criterion Collection. This is a very beautiful made movie that by F.W. Manow, like I said, who transitioned from Germany to Hollywood. And I believe this is one of his first Hollywood movies that he made in Hollywood. And I adore this movie. I remember like it was yesterday when I was got I was about to get into the world of silent films for the first time. And Sunrise was one of them. Um I was it was it was Metropolis. Um, the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Nosferatu, and Sunrise. And when I got into Sunrise, it blew me away. Like, yeah, I'm I'm now a silent film fan, which I am, because I have a very dedicated um, shelf um, of silent films um, on Blu-ray. Sunrise is fantastic. We haven't gotten a, a single silent film release since then. The last time they released a silent film in the collection is The Cameraman. And I, I believe so, or either Hexan, but it's been a while. But the cameraman, probably the last of, of Criterion Collection that released a silent film in, in their collection. Um, love that movie. But I think Sunrise is perfect for it because, like I mentioned, it's a masterpiece and it's a great, it, it's still a good release nonetheless by Fox. Um, I don't know if this is still in print or not because Disney now owns Fox. But in the UK, Sunrise was part of the, is part of the Matthew Cinema line, spine number one. So that's pretty notable in the UK that they, they really sunrise as a Matthew Cinema line in spine number one. So this should be part of the Criterion Collection. It should, um, you know, it's, it should. But for now, I'm kind of glad I still have the Blu-ray release. 
I love this movie so much, and I and I I kind of wish we get this poster art as a front cover because this is an okay cover in my opinion. So yeah, that's Sunrise. If you have not seen this movie, I highly highly recommend. The next film is one of my favorite biographies that I ever made. A film directed by Richard Attenborough that is Chaplin. John Robert Downey Jr. who played Charlie Chaplin in this movie. And this is wonderful. Everything about this movie, I just fell in love because as I, I am a really a, a great fan of Charlie Chaplin films, and I love his filmography as well. It's a beautiful and heartbreaking film about the rise and fall of Charlie Chaplin life, you know, and how he became, you know, a well-known man in the Hollywood um, industry. Yet there are some downside in when he is part of the Hollywood. I love this movie. It showcased everything going on, the good and the bad of Charlie Chaplin and lead up to the success um, of his um, last remaining um, part of his life. It's a beautiful film, beautifully directed by Richard Attenborough and beautifully performed by Robert Downey Jr. I believe he got an Oscar nominee for this role, which is well deserved. It's a beautiful film. Um, if you're a silent film fan and you want to get into more about Charlie Chaplin as, the, as a human being and where he got his start and all the way to the, um, the end of his career, check Chaplin out. I don't know if this Blu-ray is out of print or not because it's hard to find. Um, the Blu-ray itself is okay. It's, I, it could be better. Um, if it was a 4K, oh my gosh, I would be die happy. I love this movie so much that it deserves a better release, in my opinion. Um, you know, keep the same cover. I actually like this cover a lot. But anyways, this is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend. I'll be down if they ever do a Buster Keaton biography movie. Please, whoever, which studio, whoever you are, please do that. Because I will pay the ticket immediately. But it had to be a good director though. Um, yeah, wonderful film. This deserves to be part of the Criterion Collection. The Last of Sheila. This is a fantastic murder mystery and Ryan Johnson took this inspiration for his Knives Out sequel, Glass Onion, on this film. It has a great cast, a very young Ian McChain and a wonderful um, James Corbin. It's fantastic. So much fun. The one word can describe this film is fun. It's really fun. And I love the whole murder mystery aspect of this movie. It's really great. It's a great summer movie as well. It's so much fun. It hooked you in the beginning of the movie. It's really thoroughly enjoyable. And I'm happy it got a movie released by Warner Archive. But it deserves more premium release, if you will. High Noon starring Carrie Cooper and the wonderful, beautiful Grace Kelly. This is a fantastic restaurant to take place in one day. It's wonderful. So great. This is a wonderful film that should be long. Like, after I finished the this movie, like, why this film, I said this, funny enough, why this film is not in the Criterion Collection? I immediately said that after I finished watching this movie, yes, you got a deluxe treatment that is released by Olive's signature line, by Olive Films. It's still a good release, nonetheless. You know, you got a... Good slip, um, slip case. Also, when you check out the, the case itself, the case is clear. Also, come in the booklet. Um, you know, I'm too happy it got a Blu-ray blue, blue release, but this is hard to find, um, especially for a good deal. Um, it took me forever to find a good deal, and then it finally got in stock on Amazon. I quickly snagged it really fast because I've always wanted to see this see this film, and I finally got around watching. Uh, I believe in summer. And I loved it. It's a great western. It's a great character piece. Um, Grace Kelly is wonderful. Gary Cooper is great. I love everything about this movie that takes place in one day. And there's the sense of urgency that's coming up with this movie that takes place in one day and uh, and lead up to that duel. It's so good. It's so good. And well, very well directed. Very well written. It's black and white. It's western. It has a classy feel that deserves to be part of the Criterion Collection. Cindy Prote is a no stranger in part of the Criterion Collection because there are some several films from him that is available on the Criterion Collection. A Rage in the Sun, The Pug and the Preacher, and this one deserve to be part of that Criterion Collection library. And it, it is released by Warner Archive, which I'm still happy got a, a still got a Blu-ray release that is a patch of blue. 
one of my favorite first time watchers of this year. I saw this film I, after his passing and I had to see it immediately and it's fantastic. I love this movie. This movie floored me. It's charming. It's wonderful. It's delightful. It's about a man who was helping this girl who happened to be blind and it blossomed this relationship, this wonderful friendship that built upon this movie. It's so great. It's about kind to one another, even though he's different. He has a different skin that the girl does not know of. And it it expands their relationship, it expands their, expand their friendship. And it's about accepting who they are in a, very, in a very human being way, because they're all human beings no matter what the difference they are. It taught us to be kind to one another and be respectful of one another despite the differences. It's a beautiful film, beautiful film that just floored me. And the performance by Shelley Winters is wonderful. And also, of course, Cindy Pote is wonderful as always. What a fantastic actor. A wonderful film that deserves a much better treat um, physical media treatment in the Criterion Collection. Um, this release has a commentary and a one feature and that is it. But I want to know more about this movie, behind the scenes and all that. A booklet would be amazing about for this movie. And there's so many great character moments, so many quiet moments. And this is a film that shows how to have a scene that is a breathing moment. Just focusing on the characters and focusing on their friendship. It's a beautiful film. I adore this movie and it's a very classy black and white film that just scream a Criterion Collection release. <sighs> if you have not seen this movie, I believe this is an underrated gem, um, a hidden gem, if you will. Please watch this movie. It's available on one on the Warner Archive collection. So check this movie out. I highly recommend this. The last two are amongst the favorite. One of them is, was my very first time watches of this year, and the other is the film I saw during my film on uh, my screenwriting class that just floored me. So what are the two titles? Well, let me show you guys. The second to last is a fantastic film that everybody should watch and everybody should be seen. That is Bunny Lake is missing. <sighs> so good. This is the indicated release from the UK. It is region free. So if you want to get this, you can get this in orbitdvd.com. A wonderful release by Indicator. Um, it's very much like a Criterion release, a boutique label. It is a boutique label. But in America, we used to have a blue release of this movie, but it's released by Twilight Time. And Twilight Time is obviously no longer exists. And that Blu-ray is out of print and really expensive. So I'm kind of glad I imported from the UK on Orbit DVD because that was my only option, my only way to get this movie. And it's region free, so that's a good thing. This movie for me, it blew me away. It, what this film is about, it's about a daughter missing. It's, it's about the mother who's trying to find her daughter and bring her back home. And it's about, you know, a, a guessing game. I mean, what's, what's just happened? It's thrilling. It's engaging. It's exciting. It's, it's just riveting. I love this movie so much that people need to see this more. Um, See this film. It deserves the praise. It deserves, um, you know, amongst the favorites. This is one of my favorite first time watches of 2022. Um, as soon as the film ended, I was speechless. I couldn't speak. I was, you know, in awe of the film and how it ended and how it played out. It's beautifully directed by Otto Preminger and it's fantastic. The performances all around, across the board, is fantastic. Especially the third act. The third act, by not giving away, is just something to behold. My eyes were, were wide open and she was, oh, it's fantastic. I'm gonna talk more about this movie in depth in, you know, the last month of 2022 because this is my favorite first time watches of 2022 because I love this movie and this, it deserved, I, this movie deserved to talk more in the channel because I love this movie so much. But 
this film desperately need a re-release in here in America because, like I said, the Twilight Time Blue release is out of print. So hopefully, some studio, whoever you are, this this is a Columbia picture release. I hope we get a cartoon release of this movie because fantastic. Um, yeah, this film deserves to be part of the cartoon collection. And as for now, I'm I'm happy with this release so far. Um, I'll link below um, for OrbitDVD.com for to purchase this release because I want you guys to see it and I love this movie so much. So yeah, that's Bunny Lake. Bunny Lake is missing. Last but not least, I say the best for last. <sighs> this film is incredible. It's a Best Picture winner that is Ordinary People. For a longer time, this film never got a blue release. I believe we got a DVD release, but it was announced that Paramount is going to release this film in part of the Paramount Percent line. I'm already happy enough that this film got a blue release. So I don't need a Criterion Collection release right now at the moment because I'm happy it, you know, it had a blue release, a very good blue release. Um, so I'll, I'll be not bro broken, um, broken about it, but it's still, a, 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 it, it almost feels like a Criterion release, you know, the clear case, no booklet though. Um, some extras, but this film is fantastic. Great performances by Donna Sutherland and Mary Taylor Moore and Timothy Hust Hutton. <sighs> Thought by Robert Redford. I believe this is the director's debut. Uh, Robert Redford directed this, directed the heck out of this movie. It's a beautiful drama film about this family who is is, a, is falling apart about this thing that happened to them that's just you know, it's going separate ways and, you know, it's th the family that they used to know is not the same anymore. They're becoming estranged and there's so many arguments and so many um, great powerful moments in this movie that just, it kept my eyes wide open. And when I saw this in my screenwriting class, I could not stop thinking about this film. It's a beautiful film that will deserve one for the Best Picture winner. For best picture, yes, I want this film to be released on Criterion Collection, but I'm already happy enough that it got a good, decent release part of the Pema Percent line. That it's still it is by number thirty, so it's part of the spy number um, line. But it's not a boutique label um, enough, but it's still a good good release nonetheless. But I wish this was released by Criterion Collection because this is perfect for it. This type of film is perfect for a Criterion Collection release. I love this movie. I really do, and uh, just, just you know, yes. Um, you know, here's our release right here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ordinary people, come on. <laughs> so there's another film that is said to be part of the Criterion Collection library that I just watched for the very first time a couple of nights ago. A film that just blew me away, just mesmerized by. And that is Amadeus. Um, a 4K Criterion release would be a nice, nice, satisfying feeling for me because I just watched this a couple of nights ago and I love this movie. I just picked this up on Half Books for $10, a Digibook release, which is a still really good release. But a Criterion release? Yeah, that's has a nice sound of it. Amadeus, released by the Criterion Collection on 4K. That has a nice ring on it. So, yeah, love this movie. <sighs> yeah. There you have it, guys. Those are the films that deserve to be part of the Criterion Collection library. There are others um, that would love, that would be part of the Criterion Collection. But the titles that I show you guys in this video are my picks that are worthy enough that it deserves to be talked about and deserve to be part of the Criterion Collection. And you can take this video as recommendation as well because this film that I mentioned deserves more attention to all of you for the people who have not seen this movie. So yeah, also link below if you want to check out my first video of this series of films to be part of the Criterion Collection line. I haven't made those type of videos since 2020. So. That was the last video I did, that was 2020, that was during the pandemic times. Um, I'm glad I did it again, an updated version of expanding that list. Um, so yeah, 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great one. Take care.